Hey everybody, I uh, just checked in to uh, the hotel and the Wi-Fi is not working. It worked on my phone, but it's not working on my desktop. And I uh, figured out how to get it to work. It took a little hacking. I shouldn't have to do this uh, of my Windows computer, but let me go ahead and show everybody. So this is what you expect, but in reality, you're getting site can't be reached. And this happened after I connected. I made sure, by the way, uh, I'm going to show my desktop, but I want to make sure that nobody is forgetting their basic things they got to do uh, to connect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share the main screen, but obviously you're going to want to make sure uh, that your Wi-Fi is properly connected. I am in this case. It's already there. It says action needed. I try to open browser and I get nothing. So what you got to do is you got to hack your computer. The problem is it's trying to get to this address and it's not working. Here's, here's how I know. I'm going to copy that address and I'm going to go ping. And then uh, I open up command prompt, by the way, if you didn't already know. You come here, you type in CMD and you open uh, and uh, you'll ping and then put in the address and look, cannot find. So that really sucks. And by the way, I made sure that uh, if you don't know how to run IP config slash all uh, pipe more. You uh, can see the IP settings. Here's the one that matters. It's my Wi-Fi adapter. I'm getting an IP address. I see their DHCP server, but the DNS server is 1111. So here I'm going to go to ping 1111. And what do you know? I do ping that, but it's not resolving. Um, I bet you I can ping Google. It's going to resolve. And it does, but I cannot get to the internet. I got to Google, surprisingly. But... Uh, in getting to that address, I cannot ping it. So just to remind you, I'm trying to ping that address. and it doesn't work. So uh, NS lookup, if I put in that address to 1111, it doesn't show anything either. I'm going to go ahead and guess what their DHCP server might also be a DNS server. So I'm going to take that address here, type in server, and then bam, uh, that's my server now. And now I'm going to ask it for that IP address. And what do you know? It gave me an IP address. So for this IP address, what I got to do now is I got to go to, forgive the picture and picture here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad. Now, when you open up Notepad uh, to hosts file and uh, to do this, though, you got to open it and run Notepad in administrator view. And if you don't, you won't be able to save the edit to the file you're going to do. So here's, I'm going to, uh, when you when you find Notepad, right click on it and hit Open Run as Administrator. And in the Notepad file, I'm going to go ahead and add a line, putting in that what I just copied from over here. And I got this. I'm going to hit Copy, Highlighted, Paste, and it's got to be the IP address followed by that name. Now I'm going to go ahead and save, and uh, then coming back to the browser. I should be able to go to that URL. So let's go ahead and try to refresh the page. And what do you know? So now you're able to log in and uh, put in your uh, your stuff, and it should be able to fly from here. So that's how you can get around the. By the way, there. Oh, uh oh. Looks like I need to provide additional Wi-Fi purchase options. Uh, so there it goes. I'm checked in at CES and uh, uh, should be good to continue to, to work. Hope this helps somebody uh, else. Make sure you don't have VPNs or anything else turned on too.